to say that I'm excited would be an understatement, guys. <laughs> this right here is a, a Zuri action figure brought to life. Uh, I've used uh, several uh, programs and I wanted to walk you through it. But first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much to Corey Williams that for bringing this to our attention. Uh, he did like a really awesome video. And uh, so this this was a result of that inspiration. So I got this from a, a store and I was like, okay, I need to scan it. And I waited for an overcast day, which is uh, what is there in uh, my backyard. And the character is animated. You know, it started off as a figure, <laughs> just as a toy. And then I was able to add animation to it. So the program that I used is really, I, th I think it's, uh, let me bring it up here. This is called uh, 3dpresso.ai. So what it does, it, it literally takes a video. This video was uh, about uh, three minutes long. You, it, they give you instructions on how to scan it. So you have to do like a 360 degree scanning of this character. And I highly, highly recommend that you do it in a, like a, an overcast day. But even then, it still tries. And the reason why I say that uh, it, you prefer it's better to use like during uh, an overcast day is because my first try, and I'll go to my models over here so you can see my the test that I did. And so this was my first try over here. And this was shot inside, uh, inside of my office. And I didn't get very good results. And as you can see, there's a little bit of like <laughs> issue, <laughs> several issues happening. And the quality is just not there, you know. So you don't get the same kind of quality that I was getting. But what's amazing is that how it's able to take the video, uh, this video right here, and be able to like create a really good model out of it. So this was the first try. I was like, okay, Corey, <laughs> you said it was awesome, but how come I'm getting like the results like this, right? So I went back and reapproached it after Corey gave me some tips. He said that, you know, make sure that you do uh, longer than a minute and also you have to go slow, right? So as you can see, this is the model and there's a dumbbell, a 25 pound dumbbell <laughs> right there. And it was able to extract all these things that you see in the background it was able to extract that and create a model out of it. And you can see the detail. It's, that, that's incredible. So when Corey showed it to me, I was like, man, I got to try this. And so once I was able to finish, like do that, like I got a, a good result that I was happy with, uh, I noticed that there was something here, you know, like some kind of rock. Um, so if I'm looking at uh, the video itself, it's probably the staircase over to the right-hand side that it had some trouble, like right there. For some reason, it had trouble uh, getting rid of that. But that's, that didn't stop me because after I downloaded this, uh, I downloaded it as a, a .glb file. Then I took it to Blender and you can see it here, right? So cool. <laughs> and I exported this out of here as an FBX file. Took it to 3ds max where i was able to cut out the the dumbbell so i'll show you the result of this and i've actually put it uh within like octane so that you could see like a, a nice render of it let me rotate around the character so this is the model and let me go up so you can see the base and there's a half feet right there so i was able to extract the base and I brought it in here just to test and see what how the lighting would work. And the textures look great, actually. So I'm very, very impressed with this <laughs> program. Let me turn this off for now. Because, but you, so you can see the model here in uh, 3ds Max. And let me kick out of the camera, go to perspective. And so we can see a little bit more. So that is the model right there. And the quality looks really, really good. Look at that. So, I mean, I <laughs> this changes the way like um, when I do like stop motion and I'm thinking about short films like that is that now if I have like a little, like if I'm, I have like a really good toy, I can bring it to life. And I want to do another like uh, scan, just a, well, a video, <laughs> a video shoot, go a little bit slower and see what kind of quality I'm able to get. But as you can see, this is the quality that you're able to get from the model itself, and it's able to save the textures as well.
Okay, so once I had uh, exported this out of uh, 3ds Max, I exported it as a, an FBX after cutting out the base, making sure that uh, the model looks great. I then took, and also one thing that I also did, let me just go out of it. I made sure to pos position it properly so that the orientation works. And then I went to Actaco, Karak Akirig, right? So this is where I set up the model. So I'll go to the body rig so you can see how I was able to set it up. It was a really, really like effortless process. Uh, for the hands, I made sure to turn off. Uh, I said there, there were no, there was zero digits, you know, in terms of fingers. So that's why it's just because uh, it's a fist. And then I was able to go and check animation. And if you play back, you can actually see the character there. Yeah. So once this was uh, done, I went ahead and export it and export it as an avatar to iClone. And I brought that into, let's see, this is character creator four. And I was able to test the animation just to see how well it was doing. As a redancing. Okay, but this is how cool this whole process is, is that you're able to add animation to uh, something that's set off as a figurine in your backyard somewhere in your office and then you're able to add animation to it. I was able to then send this to iClone directly. So that's, this is what you're looking at right now. And then after this, you can send it to the Unreal Engine to wherever you want at this point, because now you've been able to extract the video. And, but look how it, well it did. Even the parts that were in shadow, it was able to do a good job of uh, adding the detail. And let me rotate around the character so you can see a little bit more on the back. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So Corey, thank you so much again, guys. I highly, highly recommend that you try out this program. Yeah, just go, it's an AI model. And what it does is again, it just takes your footage and you're able to extract a model, a 3D model out of it. And my character, I made sure to pause because I knew once I got to Akirig, I'll need to be in a, like a T pause. Let me close this. Let me stop this, go back to body rig. I knew I would need that pause. So in the character itself, the, I made sure to pause the arm. So I recommend that if you're gonna do this, find some uh, like a model that is possible, but it could be anything. It could literally be anything that you shoot and record. But if you want to animate this, then I'll, I recommend that you put it like in an A pause because you want it to scan uh, to capture the edges around there. So what I'm amazed is that it's able to take this data like from the video itself and then capture all that detail and the texture and be able to get a result like as good as this <laughs> that is amazing so i'll continue testing you know i'll continue sharing results as i uh, capture more characters and i might make up like a whole army of characters but i might actually even be i'm thinking i might actually be do some clay modeling and uh just create my own characters you know like I could literally create my own character, I mean, for like a set of toys and create a short film out of it. So I can't wait to take this and, uh, you know, make an animation out of it and the short film. I put Zuri in like a lab of some kind, just like I did in 3ds Max. And, uh, and this is going to end up in the Unreal Engine <laughs> for real-time rendering. So thank you so much again, guys, for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute and subscribe and hit that not notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Uh, as always, I'm praying for you. Please stay safe. Don't give up on your dream. And please, please, whatever you do, continue to create. <laughs> Don't let the AI, you know, get over you because I know it's kind of uh, frustrating right now and disheartening, but uh, there are other ways to create art. And I think uh, creating models that you can scan and bring to life like this is going to be an awesome thing. So this is one way of using AI to make something fun, like to continue to create art, right? So I know like this model is from Wakanda forever and there's a company that's made this model. So you could make your own so you don't have to deal with the uh, copyright issues. But I, right now I'm just doing this as a tutorial, uh, rather insight so that you can have a, an idea to inspire you guys to go out and do something really fun. Yeah. All right. Much love to you all. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>